Here's my video editing setup. My computer is a late 2018 Mac Mini. It's a 6-core with 3 GHz Intel i5 chip and has 20 GB of memory. Its 6-core CPU is pretty fast, but its built-in graphics chip is pretty anemic. That's why I have this. It's an external GPU enclosure housing an AMD Radeon RX 580 with 8 GB of memory. On the Heaven OpenGL benchmark, I can just make 30 frames per second on the ultra extreme settings with full screen resolution of 2560 by 1440. If I drop that down to 1920 by 1080, I can get a respectable 40 frames per second. Unigen Valley benchmark gets me a playable 45 frames per second at 1080. I'll provide links for some of these items in the description below, so if you're interested in the current pricing, that will help you. Though the OWC enclosure has served me fairly well for almost two years now, there is one thing I'd do differently for my eGPU. My research has me looking at the Razer Core X enclosure in a Radeon Vega 64 graphics card. That's on my wish list. But like I said, for now my setup does well for what I need. My monitor is a ViewSonic VP2768 Pro. It's a 100% sRGB REC 709 monitor with 14-bit color. When I started getting serious about color grading, I decided I needed a monitor for color accuracy. And this one fits the bill quite well. My other monitor just happens to be a 2010 iMac. Even though the processor isn't up to speed for what I do, the monitor is still beautiful. I port the display adapter through the eGPU, and I get dual monitors for my editing and grading. One key point on the Mac Mini, and this is from my experience, to get the most use and fastest processing of the external graphics card, you have to plug your Thunderbolt out from the Mac Mini into the eGPU, and from there, plug the HDMI directly into the monitor. If you try to plug the HDMI from the Mac Mini directly into the monitor, you will get dramatically reduced use of your external GPU. So if you have this setup, you might want to make that adjustment to get the full use of the card you paid for. I also have about 16 hard drives of various sizes and purposes hooked up to the Mini, but the main ones for reliability and size currently are the Lissy 20 terabyte RAIDs and my 10 terabyte G drives. They've proven themselves to be uh, dependable, but the Lacy drives fans are a little noticeable, so unless you put them on the floor or in another room, you will have to put them to sleep when you're doing audio recordings. Well, there you go. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Also, please subscribe to help grow this channel. My best to you, creative entities out there. Thank you for watching and asking questions.